Howdy friends, it's the 18th March 2022, this is the moon, that's the colour of it, it's about 5 past 7, something like that. sort of curious as to why it's red because the sun has dipped below the horizon so what's causing it now somebody has actually just informed it lithium glows red so I might look that up later on. But um, I think that's a full moon, it looks it. That's about max zoom I can do. I've got it on a tripod, but it's a travelling one, a light one, so it's not 100% sturdy. So it's moving around because I'm holding it. But um, it's fascinating, isn't it? Don't you think? It's the 18th today, 18th of March, 18-3-2022, is a 6-6-6, and 18 is three sixes. Anyway, I'm going to capture this for as long as I can actually because it's quite a spectacle. Yeah, amazing. I think it was made on the third day of creation. A 30 day cycle. Like your biorhythms. Like your menstrual cycle. So oops. Like the menstrual cycle. Stunning. Look pretty stunning. Wow, that's it's a good camera this, it's an I think it's called a Nikon S 2700 It's only a little compact thing. It's got a 20 times zoom on it. And it's brilliant, that's a quarter of a million miles it can zoom almost and get a reasonably good picture. I might do a little time lapse of that just to see its movement over 10 minutes. Down.
Okay, so here's a little article from The Telegraph, dated 18th of March 2022. Now, I actually thought it was called a blood moon, but apparently it's called the worm moon 2022. And this is titled worm moon 2022 when it peaks in the UK today and other full moon dates. Full moons illuminate the sky every month, but what time does the worm moon peak today? Okay, this image here. The worm moon graces our skies in the same month as the spring equinox. Worm moon. The third full moon of the year is the worm moon, which reached its peak earlier today. It is so cold because as temperatures warm, earthworm casts begin to appear and birds start finding food. It also has multiple other names including the sap moon, crow moon and crust moon, while its Anglo-Saxon name is the lenten moon. The worm moon graces our skies in the same month as the spring equinox. This full moon is important because it is used to fix the date of Easter, which is always the Sunday after the first full moon following the spring equinox. Here we've compiled a complete guide to the moon, Earth's only natural satellite, and the largest and brightest object in our night sky, which has enchanted and inspired mankind for centuries. From supermoon to blue moon, here's everything explained in one place. When is the next full moon? March's full moon, otherwise known as the worm moon, reached its peak on March the 18th at 7.18am. How often does a full moon occur? A full moon occurs every 29.5 days and happens when the moon is completely illuminated by the sun's rays. Hmm. It occurs when the earth is directly aligned between the sun and the moon. So I got the 30 day cycle slightly out. While most years see 12 full moons, some years have 13. This means that some months will see two full moons with the second known as a blue moon. This happened in 2020 when 13 full moons graced our skies with the two full moons in October as well as four penumbral lunar eclipses. Why do full moons have different names? The early Native Americans didn't record time using months of the Julian or Gregorian calendar. Instead, tribes gave each full moon a nickname to keep track of the seasons and lunar months. Most of the names relate to an activity or an event that took place at the time in each location. However, it wasn't a uniform system and tribes tended to name and count moons differently. Some, for example, counted four seasons a year, while others counted five. Others defined a year as 12 moons, while others said there were 13. Colonial Americans adopted some of the moon names and applied them to their own calendar system, which is why they're, they're still in existence today, according to the old farmer's almanac. When are the full moons of 2022? So, April, we have the pink moon. April's full moon is known as the pink moon, but don't be fooled into thinking it would turn pink. It's actually named after pink wildflowers, which appear in North America in early spring. It is also known as the egg moon due to spring egg laying season. Some coastal tribes refer to it as fish moon because it appeared at the same time as the shad swimming upstream. The pink moon appears during the same month as a meteor shower. When? April the 16th. May, flower moon. Spring has officially sprung by the time May arrives, and flowers and colourful blooms dot the landscape. This full moon is also known as corn planting moon, as crops are sown in time for harvest, or milk moon, as May was previously known as the month of three milkings. Hmm. In 2022, this will coincide with a total lunar eclipse. 
Those in the UK will not be able to see every part of the eclipse, but will still be able to see it at totality when the entire moon turns red. When? May the 16th. And that's it there, a super flower moon rising above the statue of <laughs> liberty, taking the liberty. So in June, strawberry moon, the full moon is named after the beginning of the strawberry picking season. It is also known as rose moon or hot moon, commemorating the start of the summer's warm weather. It appears in the same month as the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, in which we can enjoy around 16 hours and 38 minutes of daylight. When? June the 14th. July, thunder moon. Named due to the prevalence of summer thunderstorms, it's otherwise known as the full buck moon because at this time of the year a buck's antlers are fully grown. When? July the 13th. August, sturgeon moon. Synonymous with the final days of summer and the beginning of the harvest, the sturgeon moon is named after the prehistoric looking fish that Native Americans would catch at this time of year. It is also often referred to as the green corn moon, the grain moon and the red moon for the reddish hue it often takes on in the summer haze. When? August the 12th. September, the harvest moon. Shine on, shine on, harvest moon. September's full moon is the closest to the autumn equinox. It is referred to as the harvest moon because it was during this month that most of the crops were harvested ahead of the autumn, with the moon giving a light to farmers so they could carry on working longer in the evening. Blessed are the farmers. Some tribes also called it the barley moon, the full corn moon, or fruit moon. And this is September the 10th. October, hunter's moon. October's full moon is so named as it came to signify the ideal time for hunting game, which would be coming fatter from eating fallen grains, as people planned for the cold months ahead. It is also known as the travel moon, and the dying grass moon. When? October the 9th. November, beaver moon. Beavers typically start building their winter dams in November, leading to this full moon moniker. In addition, winter frosts historically began to take their toll during this time, hence its alternative name of frost moon too. In 2021, the beaver moon co coincided with a partial lunar eclipse, otherwise known as a half-blood moon. Mm. As part of the moon travelled through the Earth's full umbral shadow. The event lasted 3 hours 28 minutes, making it the longest in 580 years, according to the Holcomb Observatory at B Butler University, Indiana. And when? November the 8th. The 11th full moon of the year is November's Beaver Moon. Bit of an odd shadow. December, Cold Moon. The final full moon of the year is the Cold Moon, which is so named after the long and dark nights as winter's grip tightens. But falling in the festive season, it is also often referred to as Moon Before Yule, or long night moon and this is december the 8th the final full moon of the year is december's cold moon past full moons of 2022 i won't go into the past but if you're interested in anything here i'll leave a link The next total lunar eclipse is not set to take place in the UK until May the 16th, 2022. Yeah. Quite an interesting article. And 
quite long. I might come back to this, but um, once we start getting heliocentric. and into things like this which cannot be proven although it's touted as fact I think I'll um, I think I'll give it a miss and then once we start getting to this I think I'll just leave it there yeah